I think originally it was planned to be uh, some sort of a intern project, but I think uh, due to COVID and, uh, and it was supposed to be done somewhere in Sydney, Melbourne, um, by one of the companies that um, uh, participated in, in uh, what we call in this talent group, where we're looking for Drupal talent, talking to organizations to see how they can on board uh, interns or and trying to find more interns. So I raised the hand saying, okay, if we need to do it quick, let's do it quick. I'm happy to run the project or happy if someone is else is interested in running it, happy to like call head the project. Uh, but basically we have a um, website uh, and the goal was create a new theme for Drupal South website. A bit of a backstory, Drupal South is a conference that's been running uh, in Australia, New Zealand since mid 2000s. There is a history on the website. I got it a few times uh, wrong, so I'm not going to tell exactly which year it started because it's always someone comes in and says, no, this is not the right date. It was one earlier, but the history is on the website. Uh, uh, the Drupal South, that's the current website. And uh, Drupal Thaos, um, uh, yeah, it's hosted by Platform Sage. Simple stuff, few agencies came in and kind of muck around with it a bit, um, break things here and there, improved it. But uh, Drupal South Committee, and we have a representative, Jean is representative of Drupal South Committee. Uh, they decided uh, they needed a new website. And they just... Um, ask for designers to create a design. So that's the design we got. So the goal for this um, project, which I reckon can be under one month, so within four weeks we can deliver something like that. Considering that we already have a website and uh, we already have a design, there's gonna be a bit of work on the front end, a bit of work on the architecture, maybe re-architecture, if we need to. And um, yeah, a bit of work on testing and content editing. So what are we doing? We're looking for volunteers to fill in various roles. Obviously front-end developer. So SAS, CSS, possibly JavaScript if we need to. Uh, maybe going as deep as tweak templates uh, and uh, pre-process Drupal function, but that's again a, a learning process. Uh, we will approach it as a team and uh, divide the task as, as a team. So we obviously need a content editor. So if you think your uh, development skills are not great, or if you are looking something else, actually experience the content editing part and maybe prove it as well. <sighs> yeah, we're looking for content editor uh, just to, you know, uh, check out the existing content, bring some new content. The current conference is actually not running through Drupal South website, they're running through a platform, but my plan is if we'll find a dedicated content editor, maybe move some of the content to Drupal South website for this particular short conference. And QA testing, obviously something very important, so testing on mobile devices, testing on the desktop, different resolutions, maybe even try test for accessibility, uh, if we'll have time. Uh, I probably shouldn't say that accessibility and if we have time and test for accessibility, period. Um, I will be placing, uh, after each section, I will be placing a screenshot so you're just not looking at me and a bunch of text. You can actually see the designs. Uh, so this is a design for events. So what is Drupal South? Drupal South is a conference. And we have events, and events have sessions and speakers, and we also have sponsors for each event, and so, and some information in regards to what the conference is, what to do, how to apply to. So, any perks? Uh, good um, question. So, team experience. I would like this project to be a team experience. I understand no, not many people can have time to do it. That's why. The roles are scattered and uh, you can have, you know, a few hour task or actually stay for the whole month. Again, the commitment throughout the week, we don't say minimum commitment should be that many hours. It's up to you to come in and see if you want to try and do something within a week. And then if you like it, maybe you can stay for consecutive weeks and help us finish the project. 
Drupal.org credit, I will be definitely looking into giving everyone who helps. Drupal.org credit is a part of Drupal South project, or maybe even if we'll have a bit of time and enough momentum, maybe even try to contribute to um, other projects, including Drupal Core, maybe a theme or a module, so we can uh, get a credit uh, not only for you know Drupal South project Drupal South redesign, but also learn how to or improve our knowledge on how to commit to another open source project on Drupal.org. Uh, we will be giving away Drupal Shorts ticket for all the part uh, for one of the participants um, randomly. So uh, and I will talk about Drupal Shorts shortly. And uh, obviously expanding Drupal knowledge. So if there is uh, any area you would like to get better or you've never done some stuff, like for me, I never got into Twig forever because I was always doing the backend back in the day. But uh, yeah, eventually I wanted to know how to do more theming, more front ending. So these things are great if you have an experience front end or back end or even you know the managing part of it it's a good um, a, a good experience to have schedule uh, I'm planning to do next four Friday catch-ups starting this Friday 23rd uh, I don't expect those catch-ups to be long unless there is an issue or we need to discuss something I'm planning to like do a quick plan for the week uh, and then we can uh, continue communicating via Slack. Uh, as I mentioned before, it's flexible. We're trying to attract more um, students, volunteers, or people who didn't weren't experienced with the pro with Drupal itself or parts of Drupal. So good opportunity for John maybe to pass it on to his students and uh, see if they can. Um, yeah, if they're interested and have time, obviously. But also if you have a colleague who is interested, you know, to do more content editing or always wanted to volunteer um, for Drupal event. That's a good chance to do that. So here's a new screenshots. So obviously news on the right and news listing on the left. Yep, I'll try to cut it up tonight and po post it tonight straight away because we will give time till Friday. So if anyone's interested to, yeah, so this recording will actually be shared. But yeah, I'll try to send it to you tomorrow at the latest. Next. Yep, that would be great. So tools we will be using is... Uh, I'm a big fan of GitLab uh, because they, again, not only code repository, but also I'm using the CI quite extensively. I'm teaching the CI, I'm using the boards. But if on Friday I'll actually have a quorum and if we'll decide to use GitHub, I'm pretty happy with that as well. So we can try use GitHub uh, as an alternative if more people would prefer that. For me personally, again, I prefer GitLab, but I'm happy to learn more about GitHub. Uh, uh, Drupal.org, again, we tr will try to utilize issue queues as much as possible. So if anyone kind of, I had this myself, actually it was a very steep learning curve to become a volunteer and a contributor on Drupal.org because it does, it is an environment in itself and you need to know kind of bits and pieces how to, you know, create an issue, communicate with an issue open the pull request or before creating a patch. So we'll try to go through those things as well now um, as a team. Slack, we'll be using Drupal cell Slack uh, if that um, will be allowed. I'm just not sure if we have a limit on this one. If not, then we'll be using Drupal Slack, uh, which is um, open public. You just need to register on Drupal.org. So one of those Slacks will be using the communication, obviously, um, other people can see it, so they can join in if they want to. 
a platform message who gave the hosting for Drupal South. We will continue learning that. So if you never use the Drupal managed hosting, like platform message, good opportunity to learn. A Lando development environment. Again, uh, at the moment, de facto standard um, development environment. It's a wrapper around uh, Docker and Docker Compose. Sometimes we might have an issue depending on your machine uh, that Lando might not work. Then we'll try to find an alternative to see how you can develop locally. But by default, we'll try to use and learn how to do it using Lando. And my plan was to use the latest framework uh, in Bootstrap, which is Bootstrap 5, and uh, use that uh, to build the website. Uh, here is the supporter screenshot. So again, not only uh, event sponsors, but supporters going to be there. So a bit of architecture would be required. Uh, at the moment, I don't think there is supporter section as such. So that would be uh, work for a uh, uh, content editor as well. I know personally working and uh, organizing the conference, those logos are pain, big pain. Uh, to work with because everyone has different format and when you try to use some generic cutting tool it just doesn't work so uh, something maybe like a providing template for uh, future supporters sizing template or uh, trying to use the filters to make this uh, logos look as pretty as on a design because if you've done something a page like that using just the images you know it's never that easy to like make everything look pretty <laughs> straight away so what's next as i said i'll publish the video i'll try to cut it tonight and publish it tonight or tomorrow morning uh, we'll meet on friday so if you are interested or someone is interested pin me on social media meetup uh, i will be probably putting another post on um, Slack. Uh, and uh, yeah, so there, there are ways to find me. I'm um, not that invisible. And uh, so pin me or send me the details of people that you might think would be interested in doing that. Again, we're looking for mostly interns, but again, we're not gonna say, oh, not you're overqualified. So if you're interested to help out, uh, yeah, feel free to raise a hand. I'm sure we'll, we'll, uh, we'll accommodate you. Here are some screenshots of general content. So search results, uh, about page, contact pay, contact form. Uh, mobile designs. Yeah, I like... Uh, I like more squarish mobile designs more than uh, desktop designs, but they're just my personal opinion after looking at the designs.